Tonight, China Construction America is saying that it has acted in good faith and has gone above its obligation as a traditional construction contractor since the inception of Bahamar. The company notes that these actions have remained consistent throughout the duration of its negotiations with the Bahamian government, China XM Bank, and Bahamar Limited, and have worked with all parties to make significant compromises in order to try and reach a constructive and successful resolution. Regarding the offers made, China Construction says it agreed to invest an additional $100 million in Bahamar Limited, also in order to help satisfy, satisfy China XM Bank's requirement that 100% of its new $200 million loan facility be guaranteed, the company says it offered to provide a financial guarantee of $175 million to the China XM Bank. In return, and for the use of the strength of its balance sheet to provide this guarantee, China Construction says it requested the CEO of Bahamar, Sarkis Ismerlian, to provide the company with a personal guarantee of no less than $100 million. It also offered Mr. Smurley the option of providing his personal guarantee in any number of ways, including the form of a pledged collateral. But the company said that offer to help satisfy China XM Bank's requirement of a full guarantee of the $200 million loan was rejected by Mr. Smurley. According to China Construction, this was precisely the reason they were unable to reach a deal. The company concluded that it is regrettable that they were unable to reach a mutually beneficial agreement with all of the parties involved at this time. However, China Construction says it stands ready to move forward in concert with any and all parties to get this project back on track for the country.